top of the morning guys top of the morning um on my way now to goose garage um linking up with one of my friends uh i think he has something to do on his car as well so we're heading there um i'm, sp I'm supposed to pick up my car today so let's see um it, it might not be ready i'm just saying but hopefully it is and then i can get to pick it up today well yeah um we're heading there my friend drives an Audi um, S4, so uh, he it's a 10 second car, I think. Yeah, it's really fast. It's mud, it's tuned and everything. It's ridiculous. So we're gonna meet up and then I um, head on over over to the garage to check out my car and deal with something on his car as well. So stay tuned. Enjoy the content. Yo, check it out guys Machine Yeah, this is the man Juvi.
the beast. Yo, nice. Like the tip. Some carbon fiber and accent. It's good, bro. If that makes sense, take it. Well, that to put on to. I have um, not that the, the air filter. But the hose I never three inch. This is a five up or so. I probably will cut this and. Oh. So, I just don't figure it out. I'm doing those fiber so you can lock when it, when it, when it screw. Because you can't lock now, it's screw, you pull out back. That pull out. Right. So you just need some fiber or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. If not, I have got those white height. Or plastic wheel. Or whatever. Normally, still, when you're not doing that, take off um, this. Entire and thing? Yeah, and put it on back on a metal one. Well, I'm not thinking about it. Yeah. Because that thing you do um, film it before. Okay. Yeah. And it's actually more sturdy than before. Well, obviously, bro. <laughs> more reinforced, you know? Carbon fiber lip. So the accent is nice. And it's wrapped. V6. Fully carbon. Fully carbon. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Oh, they have. Yeah, I don't remember seeing this. Yeah, I don't remember seeing this. So. so the carbon pipe, I feel like I said about the 5 inch, it's a 3 inch. Yeah. Big V6. So here we have it, guys. Here we have it. Yo, the paint job is immaculate. Yo, the spray man did a good job on this. Trust me. Seen it in person? Yo, it's different. All right, so we have the front bumper, freshly sprayed. It's nice. We have the kit, the side skirt, front lip, we have these, it's supposed to go inside the headlights for the retrofit, the eyelids freshly sprayed as well, so, so I guess I won't be collecting my car today, but um, I will be collecting these because uh, I need these to be installed in the headlight for the retrofit so yes definitely collecting these today because I need to get them installed freshly sprayed um, you know it's not gonna fully spray here because these these parts are gonna be in black so peeps so I picked up these they're the same color as the car they're very nice very well done um, this these will be installed inside the headlight retrofit for the, um, the projectors but they're nice Pro projector let me see over here Projectors. So, so this is the projector. So these are the ones that, that came with the projector. These were bought separately. Um, these are the ones that came with the projector. I don't like the chrome. I'm not a fan of chrome. <laughs> yeah, I always get rid of that shit. So right here, as you can see, we have the retrofit um, cover, it's called Cub or something like that. But um, yeah, also we have the LED halo, which is the Sharon gun design. We have the cord, which is pretty much different from the previous one that I had used before. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit different installment um, regarding um, the cutout area to, to place the cord. So I can, it's got probably going to be a little bit bigger than the previous one because the card is bigger. So right here is where I'm going to be cutting it. 
so that it can be um, fitted, it can flush without it being visible. All right, next thing we're gonna use the fishing line to, to hold it together after putting the two-sided tape. So this is a transparent two-sided tape. Um, I chose to use this because, you know, it's transparent. It's not the black two-sided tape that would be more visible. So that's why I bought this one. Also, please remember to always clean your lenses. Always check it before installing it because, you know, most of the time dust and stuff will get on it. Let's go to war? No, but the situation might be out of your control. There is the economy of the Okay, there you have it. Please try not to cut it too deep because you'd also damage the design of the cover. There you have it. After installing it, um, as you can see, I added the two-sided tape. And then after that, we're going to use a fishing line to reinforce it. All right, so here we have it. Um, the line, fishing line has been installed. Um, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, what you can use to bore these holes, you can use like a soldering iron um, gun to um, poke the holes, but um, I have a little electrical drill, so that I use, that's what I use to get the holes. But yeah, I think, I think they're looking really nice. Um, they're sturdy and everything, so yeah. All right, so now we're installing the, the seal at the back. So this is a, a rubber that you put on the back to um, protect the light from damaging the inside of the headlights and also from stuff getting in and to, and to basically also prevent the light from you know moving and shifting all around inside. Now after installing, please ensure that there's, there's as you can see, there's a, a flat part, there's a, some writing, all right? Um, please ensure that this is straight because if it's not then you will realize that your headlights are gonna project lean all right so as you can see there's writing so make sure you line it up with the bottom piece here ensure that it's in a straight line so here we have it guys almost finished just to seal them up um, don't, no clean them up seal them up and then install in the car but as you can see um, I need to do a little clean up on this lens on the inside because I don't know if you can see there's a few watermarks and stuff inside but um, to get rid of that I'm just gonna use liquid soap uh, you just pour a little liquid soap inside um, shake it up with some water um, rinse it out and then put it to dry and then it should be good now with this one this is the one that I bought um, it's a new one, well it's not new, it's second hand, it was used, uh, as you can see the lens is in a very bad condition, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well I already ordered the lens for this, but I'm not going to fully install this as yet, well I'm going to install in the car, because I'll get the car before um, getting the lens, so, and I can't drive it with just one light, <laughs> so I'm going to install it, but I'm not going to reseal it as yet. All right, I'm just gonna use the screws and just put it together and just install it in the car. But um, I'm gonna change the lens on this because the lens is very bad. I'm not gonna do any rubbing down and polishing and all of that stuff. Nah, I'm just gonna change the lens so it can be as crystal clear as this one. Because this one is good. It's just I need to clean up inside, you know, wash it out with the soap and all of that and put it to dry. But yeah, this is the almost finished product. I think, And I think it's looking good. Apologies on the back the installation of the light the LED light um, I didn't get to record that last night my phone died and I just said you know what I'm just gonna continue I didn't stop but yeah um, LED uh, came with the ballast uh, took off these because I'm gonna as I said it's a, it's a conversion so I'm gonna connect these um, to the headlights these are the support that you need um, you need to use these so that you can hold the LEDs in. But these are the supports that you get with the the projectors. But so far, um, 
Let me see. This is the um, this is the halo. Uh, this is I don't remember what this is. Eh, whatever. So this is where we're at so far. I do apologize for the LED strip light. I was supposed to do that in a different design, but then I realized that the LED strips, they're not as flexible as I thought. So I'd have to try something different. So I said, just a little liquid soap. Add some water, shake, shake, and then rinse. I do recommend washing your lenses once you get them from the factory because there's some little static stuff that comes up in it. I don't know what it's called, but before installation, I do recommend doing this. Make sure you get it all in there, nothing is left out, so you can properly seal your headlights. Yeah, so just gonna do a test run to just see if everything is working. Um, I mean, I did it before installing the light because I'd be dumb if I didn't do that. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna do a little test run. Um, 9 volt battery. Um, yeah, this is the job. <coughs> All right, strip light good. Good. All right, that's good. The projector. Nice. So, everything is working. Perfect. The only thing I can try is the, the actual halo. Uh, I can't, I can't <laughs> connect the battery to this connection. Yeah, so. I mean, it's obviously working. It's brand new out of the box. I mean, everything, is else, everything else is brand new, but I think this is more likely for it because the, the material, the quality, I don't think. <clears throat> and if it damage, I mean, it's probably factory fault, but. I doubt it so <laughs> all right guys this is the finished product I think it's looking good I think I did a damn good job all right let me try this um, this is not the one I'm, that I'm gonna use this is the old one so it's because it's a different color well let me give it a test run and see um, what the look is gonna be like I think it looks good Guys, today the day we're gonna pick up the, the fit of the man Willie. Laugh, Willie. <laughs> 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 Alright, guys, so we're here. So, this is it. Um, it's very dirty. So, yeah, we're gonna take it home um, with all the kits and everything and then fit it up by ourselves. So, let's get it. As you can see we already installed the light so we only have the kits left and the bonnet so we have the side skirt the front the back and the bonnet so I had called one of my car wash friends mobile car wash to give it a deep clean and then here we have it the end results